Yo, what's going on guys? Nasher here, back with another video of questions you never asked that we're gonna answer anyways. Let's go. On this channel, we're doing all sorts of weird hockey experiments. We did deodorant as hockey stick wax, we did a flex tape stick, and holes in the stick blade. Today, we're gonna be trying something brand new. I've been thinking through some new ideas and what has not changed over the course of the last 50 years? Hockey stick tape. It's been the exact same for as long as we can remember. Maybe, just maybe, what the hockey world is missing is the skateboard. Potentially one of the best grips that you can have. It's a nice little sandpaper grip, perfect for your feet, allows you to have full control over the board. Maybe if we take this same grip and apply it to a hockey stick, we'll have the same control over the puck. Now listen, I'm not trying to be a poser. I'm not a skateboarder myself, but I do know someone who is. The man, the myth, the legend, John's plan. We got a nice yellow rail over here. I'm gonna have John do a little grind for you boys, then we'll hop inside and tape this thing up. Let's go. All right, boys, here goes nothing. We got huge potential of John hurting himself. This is our time. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Oh my. That's pretty sick. And boys, we've done a lot of cringe intros on this channel. I don't think any can compare to what you just witnessed. So if you can just go ahead and hit the video with a like, honestly, we need all the love we can get. We need, we need help. All right, so we're inside, ready to go. Got my old hockey tape on here. Got my grip tape, ready to go. Let's go ahead and put this thing on, all right? All right, well, to be honest, I haven't really thought about how we're gonna put this on here clean. See, I have an idea. Let me step back here. We got our board on the table, all ready to go. I think if I just do this, should get the job done. Here we go. Huh, I think that actually did the trick. Yo, this is looking pretty good. All right, we got the grip tape, front and back. Let's head onto the ice and test this thing out. All right, boys, here it is. It's a, it's a work of art, isn't it? I think first things first, we gotta do our initial test. This is kind of the classic. We did this with the hockey stick wax. We do it again. Put it on the blade, hold it up. Let's see how long until it falls. I don't know, 80, 80 degrees, almost getting close to the 90. Look pretty solid. All right, test number two. Don't hit on the Instagram trick shot accounts. Ready, we'll do a couple spins, all right? The classic, maybe we add a little, little flare. Oh my, dude, I definitely 100% cannot do that with normal stick tape. Let's see if we can push this to the limits, all right? Hold up, maybe like, oh, oh my. I mean, I know that that's not like a fair judgment of a normal hockey situation, but yo, the amount of grip that we have on this thing, pretty unreal. All right, first things first, let's get a little warm up in. We gotta skate around, sort of just get a feel for the stick. Then we'll hop into some shooting and finish off with some stick handling. Let's go, here we go. Oh, yo, it literally is stuck like glue, this is unreal. Here we go. See you, bud. Yo. Dude, this is honestly kind of unbelievable. A little cross cradle. <laughs> Bar down, would have been in. Let's do some actual stuff, all right. Here we go. Who needs road to a slap shot anymore? We already got it. That would have been sick. <laughs> Give me one more try. Yo. I don't want to rush to conclusions, all right? It's still very early in this video. Right now, we might be changing the game of hockey as we know it, dude. Grip that you saw with the trick shot, sure it didn't mean much then. You bring it out to the ice stick handling, this thing's not coming off my stick, man. The other thing I'm really worried about with the grip tape is potentially the ice buildup. As you can see right here, it's starting to build up already. We've only been out here a couple minutes, getting back and forth. Once this is completely covered or once it's soaked in water, 
is it still gonna have the same grip? That's the question of the day. That's what we're gonna find out. And uh, it's time to get into some shooting. Uh, I know a lot of you guys love the good old classic shooting video. That's what we're gonna do here today. We got 20 pucks in a pile. The good old hockey shot shooter tutor. We have 20 pucks. We're gonna see how many of the different holes we can make it in. Easy enough? Let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna go bottom left, make my way around the top, and then we'll aim for those middle targets. I don't know if we're gonna get that far, but we'll see what we can do. Bottom left. There's one. There's two. Okay. I don't know if it's the rough ice. I don't know if it's the blade. I'm starting to lose a little bit of grip. There we go. Nope. <clears throat> Gotta be the grip. Can't be me. There we go. That's clean. Dude, like 50% of the shots just don't make it anywhere near where I'm aiming. There we go. Let's go to the top right. Woo! The peg popper. Good. Bottom right. Slightly off. Good. Dude, no joke. I'm, I'm trying to shoot them just slightly off the ice. They're going straight on the ground. We didn't want to completely destroy the ice or my blade for that matter. So we didn't put any of the grip tape on the bottom. As you can see, it cuts off right there cuts off right there. Thinking maybe since we don't have any grip on the bottom, the slide and then the mix of that meeting this point, it's what's causing those pucks to just sit flat on the ice. You gotta go for game situations, all right? Quick loop. There it is. We got five hole, two left. I'm going one more swing. Little dipsy doodle. Boom! Half the shots were terrible. Half of them looked pretty good, but I think our biggest takeaway right now it's getting worse and worse by the second. This is sort of more of a glue than a wax, and we're just picking up more and more of this ice as we go along. The slap shot. I got a slap shot now, like, sort of, like 50-50 a slap shot. Let's go all four corners slap shots. I've only got five pucks. We'll see if I can do it. There's one. Right where I was aiming. Bottom right. Give me that top right. Okay. Boom! All I need is bottom left. We actually did it. Oh. As I was clapping those as hard as I could, the ice actually did come off the tape. So that's a plus, I guess. Not bad. Let's get into some stick handling now. We got a little obstacle course. Honestly, this is, if you want to get better at stick handling, this is kind of number one key. This is what I did in my garage every single day. And we even have a skateboard as part of the obstacle course. So you kind of come over here. We're going to do five over and unders. Let's go under the board five times. Go through the pucks. Boom, 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 boom. You know the drill. Wrap around here. Tight turn. Tight turn. Tight turn. And hopefully hit the net. And uh, by the end of it, I think we should have a feel for this thing. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Five times through the board. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's a weird drill. I like that. One. All the way through, around, around, boom. Not the best shot, but you know what? This thing gets the job done. Let me try it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Puffs. Boom. I'm gonna be real. I expected this to be absolutely awful. I thought especially once I was going through these pucks that like it was gonna stick on the edge or flip up weird. But no, I actually got pretty decent control with this thing. I mean, the question of the day, does skateboard grip tape work as hockey stick tape? Honestly, I'm gonna give it a, okay, I don't know what to give it. A lot of positives and negatives. You guys saw at the beginning, the amount of grip on this thing is absolutely unreal. I was literally, twirling the stick above my head. No questions asked. Like I wasn't even trying to keep that thing on it and it was sticking to it like glue. Probably gonna be a lot of situations in a game where that's helpful and somewhere it's gonna be hurtful as well. You guys saw in my shooting about 50% of the shots. I don't know if it's something with how the puck sticks to the blade or if it's just me, but those pucks are going 100% flat on the ice. Not much I could do about it. I will say of all the experiments that we've done on this channel so far, this one is 100% the best. You guys saw in the warm up 
when I was just skating around kind of in game-like situations, I was able to do a pretty good job with this thing. Now, the only downside is you got to keep it clean. Once this thing starts to accumulate ice, you're donezo. Now, the question of the day, the reason that you guys clicked on this video, you're wondering, should I do this to my stick? Is this the future of hockey stick tape technology? Right now, I'm going to say no. All right, no. There's potential. Okay, maybe this is a little too grippy. Maybe if we toss some wax on over the grip tape, we could have an A-plus product here. I'm just gonna say it has potential. I don't know, boys, I'm indecisive. I'm trying my best out here. I gotta say I like that. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a week. I'm gonna leave this on the blade. Maybe I'll come back two, three times with the battery this week, test this out some more, and I will return back with results. I think that about does it. What a day it was. I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment using skateboard grip tape as hockey stick tape. That's it for this one. If you guys have any other crazy stuff, that you want us to test out on this channel, let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit it with a like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace! Woo!